Well, well, my friends, welcome back to the ASIO SEX-10 II overhaul build. I've been working on this for a couple weeks now, actually. I got the uh, the body shell cut out and painted, which I did it in a uh, gloss black, just a simple color, really, very classic and very you know cool off-road color. You know, black trucks always look pretty sexy you know to me. I think they look awesome. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so I did it in gloss black. Uh, it definitely shows a lot of the de detail of the body off from the grill, uh, the little side vents on the side here, the hood and stuff like that, uh, which I am not done with the cab itself. I still want to scale it out, put the stickers on it and stuff like that. Now you're probably asking what, where, where, where's the back bed at? Well, the bed is sitting over here. I've been actually scaling this out. I decided to kind of go with an old school, kind of farmer look type deal uh, with the whole uh, wooden uh, uh, fence post here on the side. And uh, as you can see there, and uh, I did these out of popsicle sticks, my friends. I ate a lot of popsicles to get these sticks. Not really. I went to my local dollar store, uh, went to the craft section, and they have a pack of like 100 popsicle sticks. So I got those and just cut out uh, a little, you know, yeah, cut it out. <laughs> and then I went back and to give it a little more detail, I added these little... Uh, you know what looks to be nails but they're not really nails they're just uh, actually an ink pen that I dabbed onto uh, the wood just to kind of give it that look like it's been nailed together now also in the bed of itself I did the same thing as well cut up popsicle sticks and put you know down falling underneath the little toolbox which check it out my friends this is a Home, home Depot uh, toolbox uh, actually, these are actually uh, gift card holders. And I remember they had these back in Christmas time, and I was like, that would look like pretty cool on one of my scale rigs. And uh, <laughs> I had trouble finding these things because, uh, you know, like I said, you know, they had them back in Christmas, and I, you know, thought about the idea because I was in Home Depot the other day, and I was like, I wonder if I could find these things so I can put one onto the truck. And uh, I went to one, which is on the other side of town. They didn't have any, so I went across town uh, to the other Home Depot we have, and I found them. There was only two left, so I ended up buying them both, and they're only uh, three bucks actually, two ninety nine. Uh, now you could also get these at Tractor Supply if you have one uh, nearby. But uh, yeah, I, I really love how the bed came out. I'm very proud of myself actually doing this. Uh, it was just an idea, and then I just kind of like started going with it. So, but yeah. You know, after I like made my you know my my template of how I was going to do it, it pretty much was very easy to turn to the other side here and do the same thing as well. So yeah, I'm very happy with the bed. Now uh, as far as scaling out more, um, I'm going to do some windshield wipers, maybe some mirrors here. Uh, of course, some of the uh, the stickers that came with uh, with the body. I'll put some of those, but not too much, because you guys know I'm not really a big sticker type guy there, but uh, I will put some on there. Now, I'm also going to scale out with some really cool parts here. Look at this. I got some smokestacks and some air breathers. Now, you probably are noticing these, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I, <coughs> these uh, smokestacks and the breathers. Uh, the breathers are actually in the smokestack. It's actually from the Kong Head 6x6 build project. If you guys remember, I did this uh, build this year. And uh, I was sitting there looking at the truck, and I was like, how could I scale this thing out more? And uh, so I looked at the, uh, the Kong Head sitting here on the shelf, and I was like, how cool would it be to have the breather and the smokestack on there and so that's actually what I'm going to do and uh, I mean these are actually uh, 1 18th scale size because the body is a 1 18th scale uh, yeah I believe yeah 1 18th scale and uh, so yeah so I ended up getting another you know another you know parts tree of them and put them right there and look at this my friends it's going to look very very sweet all I got to do is uh, do a little bit of modifications to mount them on there and uh, that would look pretty sweet on this body. Uh, also with the air breather, I wanted to do the same thing like the Kong head there has the breather on the side. I'm going to do the same thing as well. So this is going to like look like a mini semi uh, <laughs> truck. 
Uh, but it's going to be a really cool off-road semi uh, looking old school truck. So yeah. All right, my friends, so uh, I just wanted to get on here and let y'all know what's going on with the project here and how well it's turning out, and hopefully everything will keep going well and have no hiccups. But I do want to also mention one hiccup I had with the body shell here. All right, I do want to mention that before I forget about it. Uh, when I was putting the body on here to kind of get, get an idea of like where I needed to mount it at, I was having an issue with it mounting up straight. It was kind of like bowing out a little, and I was like, well, what's going on here? And after doing some little, you know, investigation, I found that my ESC on here, let me put the uh, body down, the ESC was actually like right here. And so I had to uh, pull the ESC and just move it over just like a hair or so uh, to, uh, you know, make clearance because it was actually getting caught like right there is like where it would be at. And so it would get caught there, so I moved it over, and it's going to sit fine. Now, uh, another thing that I see that I might have to do is that these little uh, screw tabs here, uh, the Axial did this for, like, extra body mounts or so. If you're running a different body, you can actually attach it down. Uh, I'll probably end up cutting those off because it is uh, affecting the rail here on the, uh, on the body shell. So I'll probably end up taking those off <laughs> but yeah so far it's coming out great thanks for watching and uh, hopefully in the next video you see it's going to be the, the rig completed and I'll talk about that and all all right guys so thanks for watching and I will see y'all later